Hey guys, welcome to the greatest and most epic show on earth, the Dubai Expo. Today we're going to see some amazing showcases of technology, food and culture from up to 192 countries. Each country has its own pavilion, so it has a dedicated place to have its own showcase. Super excited to go inside guys and just show off everything this place has to offer, so let's go. As you walk in, you see this massive structure here, which looks kind of amazing. I think it's about... 30 meters tall. First things first, let's get inside and also have your proof of vaccination or PCR test. I hear that Japan is the one to go to, always super busy, so we've come as soon as the doors open. We're gonna try and go there straight away. Do not underestimate how big this place is. We've been walking for a solid 10 minutes at a very fast pace. We're just in the middle now. I think this is the one for the UAE, and I think these actual leaves, they leaves, they kind of go up and down throughout the day, which that is so cool. Honestly guys, I could just probably walk around and just look at the outsides of the buildings, let alone go inside and look at the showcases. Some of the stuff is just phenomenal and a must see. No! Fully booked, guys. This is why you need to do the smart queue thing. So I did go onto the smart queue at 8:55. Well, you're supposed to go on at 8:55, but like nine, they're sold out. So if you, want to, if you want to go to Japan, make sure you do it nice and early. But there is so much like amazing stuff to see. That's just one country. We've got 191 to go, guys. So stick with me. Let me show you around. Some countries are probably not going to interest you as much as others. Oh, it's not sunny now, so I can take this off. <laughs> Some countries are probably not going to interest you as much as others. So do the research on the ones that you want to see. There's so much to see. I'll probably come here for maybe two days. The first queue of the day, guys. This is Italy. Someone turn these on. Someone turn these on. It's so warm. Italy in Italy, our first pavilion of many, I hope. And book yeah, smart queue, guys. Make sure you do because we're in this one. There's the smart queue, and you can just walk straight in. This, guys, is what you call an atomic clock. So that's Italy done. I've got Pakistan later. I've got a smart queue for that. So do stick around for that. Apparently Pakistan is fantastic. But let's move on to our next country. Taking a rest up guys because it's hot. I'm burning. It's, it's okay. It's hot. I'm burning. I think this one would be worth it though. I'm really looking forward to going to Palestine. Okay, so we've been in this queue for maybe 20 minutes. It feels like three hours because it is so hot. Make sure you guys hydrate. There's water stations everywhere. Hydrate, hydrate. I love the history, I love learning about Palestine. Some of this stuff, I'm so glad it has a platform. That's a public platform and everyone can come in and just learn a little bit. That, my friends, is another stamp collected. Let's move on to our next country. There's a big environmental push for sustainability, which I love. Had some water from a can. Let's get back to the uh, pavilions. Song. If you do, you get 5,217 bonus points. Who recognizes the song? Just on the hunt for this burger place now, which apparently is connected to like a Michelin star chef, so definitely want to check that out. Let's make our way there now. I love this guy. He's got Seven Wonders, the world, Machu Picchu, the Great Wall, the Taj Mahal, and then you've got the seven wonders but of the natural world like Halong Bay is absolutely beautiful. I need to go through all of these. Oh, I think I found the little food section. Here we go guys, this is a drift burger. This place is supposed to have some amazing food. Let's check it out. Okay, sat down. It is hustle and bustle. Busy in here, which is a good start. 
let's check out the menu and let's get some food. Walking around makes you really hungry. So this is the Adrift Burger, guys. Cannot wait to look into this. But look at this grilled cheese with truffle on it. Yo. We have a couple of different types of cheese in there. Let me just, I think it'd be better to get this one. Boom, pop it onto this way, turn it around and just show you. There's some tomato jam in here, some aioli jalapenos. Let's try it. The cheeses, the sharpness from the jam and the jalapenos. That works perfectly, it's absolutely delicious. So I think that's like a truffle mayo. And then we've got like a cheese toasty, just oozing with cheese. That's so good. Cheesy, indulgent. One of the best toasties I've had. This is absolutely phenomenal. It's so hot today. These are gonna go down well. So we've got some lemonade and super sour. Moving on to these curry leaf fries. I think these guys have other branches as well. Check them out for sure. Highly recommend. I'm gonna finish all the food here and then carry on and check out some more awesome countries. So we're in the queue for Korea. As you can see it's a popular one, but apparently it's good inside and good food as well. Those boxes look like they're moving. Are they turning? Ooh, they are. <laughs> what is going on over here? What's happening here? This is going up. What's happening here? So they're finished for today. No more tickets. The uh, chaps pretty much came into the queue and said, don't waste your time. You're not going to get in. So. Goodbye Republic of Korea, it was nice to know you for a very brief moment but not go inside but goodbye and see you in 2025 in Osaka. This is a little pledge on YouTube, the next expo is going to be three years, in 2025 in Osaka. I didn't get to go to Korea this time, I'm going to go to it in 2025. So yeah, if you've come from 2025, you'll come back to this video, I kept my promise. I, kept, I saw Korea, I saw Korea in the 2025 expo in Japan, Osaka. Still in the queue, but this one is supposed to be worth it. This one's called a leaf and it's supposed to be a must see. Guys, that was so good. So, 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 so good. Really futuristic and whatnot. There's some AI type interface thing in there. Definitely give me the vibes of send us your nuclear launch codes for the prosperity of humanity vibes. Skynet 2022 confirmed. I'm very excited. But uh, whilst we're here, let's go to Gambia. <laughs> What's 
safety and the safety Excuse of others. Excuse me, I'm in charge of the security here. Please let me through. Okay, apparently we have to let him through. Let him through, Thank guys! You. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, it's just another one. Okay, so In Vietnam, so I found this uh, musical instrument. I think if you clap your hands, it should make some sound. I'm not feeling super confident, but let's give it a go. No. I think that's just my clap. Bing! Bong. Do you hear that? No, no, I can't do it, guys. But apparently it works. Also, whilst I've got you, there's a... Uh, I don't know if that's an old school xylophone. So I've got this lovely staff member to help us. No, it's not working. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do you have Spanish latte? Yes. Ice or hot? Ice, please, my friend. Guys, so this itty bitty little latte, six pounds this cost me. I hope it's nice. This is maybe one of the most expensive sort of plain sort of drinks I've gotten. It's just an iced coffee, let's keep it real. Okay, that's very nice, but for six pounds though, I'm not sure. I've had coffee all over the world, but I'll tell you what, fair is fair, that is, that is delicious. Okay guys, so here we go. Do you know what, they're a Japanese baker. I thought I'd get the most famous Japanese kind of character type thing, Goku. <laughs> Kitty. I think it's got a teller inside it. Mm. Not gonna lie, it's okay. It's not amazing, but you know, bread and Nutella, that's okay. And then me and Cameron are gonna eat this little Japanese souffle off camera. Let's move on. I just wanted to show you stuff because I thought it was cute. I think the next one's going to be Peru, guys, and the queue doesn't actually seem too bad, and it's moving, it's moving right now. I think with places like this, you really need to know where to go, because some, they're not all created equally. Some are amazing, some are average, some are great. You need to know where to go. Uh, this one seems a little bit on the smaller side. I know this isn't right, I know this isn't fair. In here, really fancy at Nando's. I really fancy at Nando's. Guys, do stick around for Pakistan. I hear really, really good stuff about them. Um, the pavilion, rather. That's towards the end of the day for me, so that's around eight o'clock. I did the smart queue thing, reserved my spot. Should be really fun, so do stick around for that. But in the meantime, I, I need some more food, but I think we might try and find another place to go in. Might try some food. I don't know. We're doing this on the fly, guys. We're having fun. But uh, Pakistan, towards the end of the video. So this is Montenegro. I quite like this, actually. It's quite interactive. Who knows what that is? If you've been keeping up on the travels and you're a proper supporter, you know exactly what that bad boy right there is. Put it in the comments if you know. I've had so much fun just casually vlogging, guys. I want to do this a little bit more. Obviously going to be doing food reviews as backbone of my channel, really, but definitely want to go to some cool locations and just do some, like, casual vlogs. I don't really do this on YouTube. I do this more on my other platforms. It's a little bit easier, but I need to do this more on YouTube, man. This has been such a fun day and lots more to come. This is supposed to be the number one attraction, number one pavilion, Saudi, but you can't really make it out on this camera. But have a look up there, guys. Look at the reflection. There's so many people. Wow. Let's visit another country because that, guys, is absolutely packed. It took me hours to get in there. Uh, I'm going somewhere else. The borders to explore the frontiers of knowledge. They discovered that an oasis can... 
Wow. So what you're doing in the Morocco Pavilion is you're kind of going down the spiral staircase into different sections and whatnot. I think this one will probably take you a little bit of time and lots of reading to do. Guys, look how big the Saudi queue still is. That is absolute insanity. It would take so long to get into there. Guys, this one is tricky. I love this one. Guys. I visited so many countries today and I've got the stamps in my passport to prove it but uh, let's get some food. I think all this walking and exploring is making me hungry. So we're gonna try Katia. I think this is like fine dining Indian food. I think this is what we're gonna do. Let's head inside and check it out. So sat down, first thoughts actually, really nice in here. Maybe it looks awesome guys. I think we're gonna get some soft shell crab, some chicken uh, pepper fry. We're gonna get a chicken tikka masala and biryani. Nope, I don't like biryani. We're gonna get a lamb shack. Okay, so this is a chicken thigh sauteed in some Thai flavor. We've got a little pancake going on there. This looks fantastic. And then we've got a soft shell crab. I cannot wait to tuck in. This stuff is presented so well. It's like Indian fine dining. You guys ever seen a soft shell crab in an Indian place? This is my first one. It looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to try this chicken thigh presentation on for it. It has to be said, but it's all about the taste. It's all about the taste. Oh, soft. The oh, flavors are on point. That is going to go down so easy. Soft shell crab. I thought I'll try something a little bit different. I've had it before in a couple of countries, but never had it like in an Indian restaurant. Just like you'd imagine. And it kind of tastes like a crispy fish finger. Really nice though. Really, really, really nice. Right, I think this is our food, guys. Thank you. Hello. This is lamb side. Chicken we've got to get some bread guys so we've got I think it's prata roti and naan I think prata roti naan I think that's the order okay so I'm gonna move this plate to my side we've got lots of good food going on let's start with this lamb shank there's so much going on here we've got like a purple potato some shaved garlic on top there's a nice little gravy going on with this lamb shank I think it's slow cooked I'm looking forward to actually trying this. The flavor profile seems amazing. Oh, oh, that's just, look at that. That's just falling apart. There's like no resistance whatsoever. Soft, flavorful, tender. Each bite packed full of flavor. Boom, we're gonna try this chicken tikka masala. That was good, so this has got some something to live up to. Let's have it with camera ladies telling me I'm not got it in shot, so is that good? She's giving me the nod of approval. I'm gonna try it with this naan. So you get three breads, which uh, roti, prata, and naan, so the trifecta, all there. Let's uh, try, these are quite big chunks of chicken. I wanted to get one chunk. Do you know what? I'm gonna have to pull that apart, oopsie. Super hot, let's try that. I'm not usually a massive fan of chicken tikka masala, but this is the best one I've had, hands down. Delicious. Finish off with some gulfi. You can't come to an Indian without gulfi. So we've got pistachio, saffron, and we've got. Pistachio, rose, and saffron. Pistachio, rose, yeah. and saffron. Yeah. Saffron. Pistachio, rose, and saffron. There we go. I've got it right after the 11th time. With kiwi and dragon fruit, guys, this is presented so lovely, Lily, but I am so tired. It took me. So many tries to get that right, the waitress and Sammy had to intervene. It's only three flavors, saffron, pistachio, rose. and rose. Rose, I'm very tired. Oh. 
There's a creator on TikTok called Golden Gully. He's on here too on YouTube, Golden Gully. Really good creator. He would love this. He's like a kulfi aficionado. He would enjoy this. Just gonna have a couple of refreshing drinks as well. That's us done here at Katia. Let's now move over to Pakistan. So this is the vibe at night time. I'm loving the vibe, much cooler as well. Still lots of people, everything's open till 12. But I am loving this vibe, guys. Who recognizes the song? Definitely not the most interactive, but definitely fun and educational. And I got another stamp in my passport as well. I have to say, unmatched vibe. There's lots of people around, lots of stuff to like see and eat. People are having a good time. It's nice and warm as well. It's like t shirt weather. So, this has been such a good day. the greatest show on earth. Does this place live up to the billing? I think so. I've never been to a place with this much sort of cultural representation of so many countries done in an interesting, innovative way. The amount of money, time, effort and skill it must take to put on a show like this, unbelievable. Great food as well, I love that. I'm gonna to go to Global Village next, guys. I hear that's also really good. Lots more food as well. I think that's a bit of a foodie kind of place. If you wanna check that out, please do subscribe so when I upload that, you guys will be notified. And turn on your notifications, all that kind of stuff as well. This was really good, I'm very tired. I've walked around maybe 20,000 steps today. It's been over, I got here at like 10 a.m. and it's super late now, but if you get a chance to go to this expo this year, or well, because they are extending it, this expo this year or the next one, just do it. The next one's in Japan. I'm gonna see you all there. But in the meantime, if you guys wanna check out some more content, just click on this video right here. And over here, we've got a little playlist for some international food reviews as well. Make sure to follow, make sure to subscribe, join the journey, and I'll see you all in that next video, which will be Global Village. See you in the next one, guys. Bye 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 bye.